Well hello there and welcome to today's very special video. In this one I'm going to be showing you how to play any emulator or couch co-op PC game online in 2022 for free. Not only that I'm going to be showing you my brand new overhaul discord server covering emulation so you can join that server, meet people who also want to play emulators, classic games and couch co-op PC games as well. What's not to love about that? Real quick then before we begin, please subscribe to the channel, very close to 8,000 subs, it's been a crazy journey and I want you to come along with me. Okay then, so we're going to do this one rather slick, okay, so in the description um, there will be this link um, for the website Parsec for the download link. If you can't see that link, there may be a little show more button, just click that and scroll down you'll see the link for Parsec. All you need to do is choose download now, okay, so I'll hit that. Uh, download for Windows 64-bit and wait for that to come in. Now, I already have this installed. It's very simple. Just let it install. And then what you need to do is just create a login. Simple as that. Okay, then. So once you've downloaded the Parsec app, signed in, created an account, either one of them things, you'll have this window here. And up in the top right will be your username, your username plus, plus the hashtag with a long number. And basically you'll need to find somebody else to play online with. So if you don't have anyone to play online with yet, go to the Discord server in the description. It's very friendly in there, non-toxic. It is an 18 plus server, but go in there, find someone to play online with. Hopefully you'll find someone who wants to play the same game as you. Hopefully, we'll just see. All you need to do is then, on the left hand panel right here, you've got the friends tab. Now, your friend can either add you or you can add them. All you need to do is tell them your online name right there, or they tell you theirs. So I know Canis is, who's uh, my very willing and helpful friend uh, for the sake of this video. And uh, I know his username, so I'm going to look him up. Now, bearing in mind, if it's a quite a common name, you might have a whole list of different people there. So make sure when somebody sends you their Username, it does have the hashtag with a number on the end as well. But I know that that's Canis because I unfriended him just for this video to re-add him again just to show you how it works. Okay, but if somebody's adding you, it's the same thing. So I'm just going to send him the friend request there. If someone's adding you on this tab, it'll be on your view friend request right here. Okay, so you got outgoing, it'll be ingoing, then you can accept people. Okay, it may take 10 or 15 seconds for that to come through for your friend. Okay, then, so at this point, You'll have your computer there. You'll also see their computer as well. Now, you can either hit connect with them or they can hit connect with you. So, Canis, if you would please try connecting to my computer. Okay, and once someone tries to connect to you, you can just hit accept on that. Now, by default, people connecting to your computer do not have keyboard and mouse access. What this program does is it creates a high quality, low latency video stream from the host's computer. And what it does is it picks up all the people who joins, controller inputs, that, which you can then map onto games. So you can play games with low to very low latency online. Obviously the closer you are together, the better the latency will be. So just letting you know that. But for a lot of these old emulated games and things, lag latency is not going to be too much of an issue anyway. Okay, so at this point, Canis, you should be able to see my screen, am I correct? Yes, you are. I can see everything so far. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually load up a game and test to see if your controller inputs are working. Does that sound fair enough? Yeah. Okay, in the background there, you may have just heard a bump ba da bum of something connecting. That is my computer picking up Canis Lupus's controller, and if I open up devices and printers, I only actually have an Xbox controller connected, and that's his controller that's been picked up. So let's just open up Moving Out. It's just a, a very um, quick and easy couch co-op PC game. This has no native online play to it. So by playing like this, you can play online, okay? Okay, so as you can see, I'm going to press the A button on my controller. Canis, if you wouldn't mind pressing the A button on your controller or X button, whichever controller you're using. And there we go. I'm sat here alone in my living room, and Canis Lupus is all the way across the country, and we're going to play a couch co-op game 
called Moving Out. We're just going to see how, how that goes. Okay, so I'm the reptile head with a pineapple hat, and Canis Lupus is that wolf thing. And uh, as you can see, Couch Co-op is working absolutely perfect. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I forgot all the buttons for this. It's been so long since I played, but it's a very fun game. Um, just showing you that it works for PC games. And next up, I'm going to show you how to run this for emulators, because it takes a little bit more setup with the controllers. So next up then, I'm going to show you how to play online with emulators. Now, I'm anticipating a very common problem that people are probably going to have, and that's mapping controllers to the emulators. Now, I'm going to do an example with two emulators. Every emulator to map controls is going to be different, but I'm just going to show you so you get a general feel of how to do it. So we're going to begin with a very popular Sega Mega Drive slash Sega Genesis emulator called K-Fusion, and um, basically I'm just going to load that up. Now, all I'm going to do is going to go to Options and set Config on this, and then the Controllers tab. Now, my controller is the controller Xbox One. Make sure your controller is selected and configured. Now, underneath that is Port 2, and this is the other controller. So I'm going to set that to Canis's, Canis Lupus's controller. And then there's this Define button here. So, Canis Lupus, you're on a PlayStation controller, right? Yeah, yeah. But you know what buttons to map, don't you? So. so what we're going to do is we're going to hit define and uh, basically it's going to tell you the buttons that you need to press canis so you can see my screen so you want to press uh, button for directional button up on the mega drive so up on your left analog stick down on your left analog stick left on your left analog stick right on your left analog stick okay and then a b c for however you want them mapping if you're not sure of what the console controllers are like look them up as well so you know the best way to map controllers to the emulator buttons but canis knows what buttons is doing here okay now all you need to do is hit apply now we are mapped for two controllers so let me load a game on k fusion and i will catch you in a second when we're in game okay so i've opted for the all-time classic streets of rage all i'm going to do is go to two players like so okay canis choose your character i'm going to be axel always axel the giga chad okay pick just pick any character remember on these old consoles it's usually the start button to select okay and we're loading in so i'm i'm axel the giga chad and you're oh you're a bigger giga chad okay okay I'm just going to slap some dudes about just showing that this is working are your controls nice and responsive there mate you've got a nice um crisp image coming through as well is that right yeah what's what's the lag situation like for you uh latency is it is it bad is it good uh on this game it's going it's fine no problem whatsoever. good 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 bearing in mind your results for all kinds of games will vary depending on your internet connection so the better your internet connection and the closer you are um, geographically to the people you're playing with the better results you're going to get with this so okay so after several minutes of playing this uh yeah it was uh, quite easy to forget i was in the middle of making a video these classic games are particularly good um and that hence why i wanted to share the the knowledge of how to play them online with you so we're going to exit this now although that run is going very well um but i just wanted to show you that that works now next up we're going to load up the wii u emulator this has a whole selection of games for it including like uh Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart 8, and a load of other great games. But I'm just going to show you how to map controllers on this and maybe a little bit of footage from Mario Kart 8, okay? So I'm just going to load up CMU right now, the emulator, and show you how to map controls on that. Okay, CMU has loaded, and I've just gone into the controller settings right here. Now, this is my controller, like so. Controller 2, we're going to set that as controller Xbox 360. Now, all I need to do here is click each button on with the mouse and then canis press the corresponding button so canis just press each button as, as you see fit please mate okay oh there we go i don't need to click every time that's fine just whichever button you're most happy with them then being on that'll be l1 and r1 okay it looks like it is mapped to an xbox controller already but that'll be l3 your left stick click oh, yeah. okay up down left and right just making sure this is all legit okay nice just making sure that's all mapped correctly 
There we go. Okay, now we're ready to get in game and test that one out, mate. Is that okay? Yeah, that's all good. Okay. Okay, so we've just loaded into Mario Kart 8 then with them controller settings from before. I'm going to go to multiplayer, Grand Prix, whichever. I'm just showing you some gameplay footage right now. Now, can you mapped A to your PlayStation X button, so please press your X button. Okay, and pick your racer whenever you're ready. Nice and quick. It doesn't really matter who you pick. We're just showing that it works. <laughs> Going to go with Yoshi. Okay. All gold. Yep. It's all good. Um, just pick a pick a random cup. Uh, that one will do. Yoshi circuit. If you're going to be Yoshi, why not? And uh, just yep. wait for that to load in just to show it working. Okay. So we are now in game. Okay. So we're just going to have a little little blast on this. <laughs> Canis doesn't even know the buttons, but that's okay. Um, just gonna have a quick, <laughs> a quick fly round. You know what I mean? I've got a bit of experience on this version and the Switch version, to be fair. But <laughs> that's all good. Works fine. What's the latency like on your end there, Canis? Yeah, it seems to be pretty clear so far. Good, good. And the mini finish. There we go. Canis Lucas is way behind, but just wanted to show you that. Now, if you have any issues with controller configs. Um, any kind of questions you might have, feel free to ask in the comments. Um, if you don't want to do that, join the Discord server. I know I keep mentioning that, but that's going to be your go-to place for extra help after watching this video, okay? Okay, now I've just tested a PC game, two different emulators. What I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect Canis. Once you're done, you can just right-click their name there and kick them. Bear in mind, you can have several people connected to your computer. I've actually hosted Mario Kart 8 and Goldeneye games of four people, but I know you can do more. Okay, so I'm just going to kick Canis there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to Canis's computer. All it is is when your friends are online, all you need to do is look, see which computer theirs is and choose connect. And on Canis's side, it'll see what we saw earlier of someone trying to connect. And once that happens, I am now connected to Canis's computer. So if Canis was to host a game, yeah, you see it's it's quite a clear image when it first started there. It was just a bit pixelated, but um, that is now connected to Canis's computer. So if he ran a game or an emulator or something like that, then I'd be able to connect to his computer the exact same way you saw him connect to mine in the previous steps. Awesome stuff. So that about covers it. Please join the Discord server if you need more help with different emulators, things like that. Happy to answer any questions. We've got some good admins in there, really friendly as well. You know, everyone's welcome as long as you're behaving. It is 18 plus as well. But I'm sure you'll meet all kinds of people in there willing to play all kinds of games. You know, you might even convince people to try one of your games. You know, um, only the host needs to have the game as well. So that's always a positive. So good stuff. Even if the other person doesn't have the game, someone can join to you and play along with you and vice versa. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, like I say, please hit subscribe. I'm, I'm really hoping I can hit 8k very, very soon. I can feel it coming. I really can, you know, and 8k would just make my day. So other than that, I hope you've had a great time watching the video. I hope you'll speak to me soon in the Discord server. M may even play a game together soon. Um, other than that, have a great day, stay safe, stay well, and I'll speak to you very, very soon. Catch you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you, Canis. No, no problem. Thanks for having me.